What exactly is a grabber? How does it work? It's a, a, the, the technical term for a grabber is an IMSI catcher or an MC catcher. And essentially what it is, is a fake cell phone tower. It's a mobile fake cell phone tower that you deploy near someone that you want to surveil. And then their cell phone connects to it like it's a normal cell phone tower. And uh, then you can intercept the communications uh, over over that link because you, you have control of the communications link between the cell phone and the tower. So uh, the, the catcher uh, is essentially a middleman. It sits between you and the real cell phone tower. So you can still, it looks like you're receiving calls as normal and other communications as normal, but actually it's all flowing through the catcher. How do you know if this is happening to you? Are there any telltale signs? So when the news first emerged in South Africa that our state security apparatus and the police and uh, even uh, one, in one case a private individual had tried to import one and, and got caught, when, when the news about that started coming out, there were apps available on the Android App Store to, to help people uh, essentially figure out that their phone is, is connecting to, to one of these catches. But uh, as always, it's a cat and mouse game. So just as the counter surveillance uh, catches up to these catches, a, a new catcher will be released to, uh, or a new grabber will be released to uh, th that uh, then uh, beats these apps. So uh, we we yes, there are apps available that can help you do this, but whether they will work for the catcher or the grabber that's being used against you depends on what exactly is being used. And, and you know, we don't know. So it's not as simple as having a signal blocker. Well, if you, if you have a signal blocker, then you have then you have no cell phone communications at all. So it's it's a choice, but yeah, I mean, you can turn off your cell phone communications or you can have a signal blocker installed, um, but uh, then you're foregoing the, the whole point of having a cell phone. I suppose it's legal for police to intercept calls or listen in to calls, as was explained by Becky Taylor there. He said that a judge grants permission to the, to the SAPS to use this grabbing um, technology but what about individuals? Is it obvious that they can't and they shouldn't? No. So, uh, in fact, we, we have a whole law dedicated to this, which is currently uh, in, a, in, a, in a bit of a weird state, the, the RICA Act. And the, the whole point of the RICA Act is to provide protection to, uh, to, to innocent citizens, and but while providing a mechanism for what's called legal intercept. Now, now the thing that Becky clearly described um, from how it used to happen in 2010 and 2011, it should not be able to happen like that anymore. But, you know, once again, we don't actually know what's happening behind the scenes, and especially considering the allegations that uh, the, the, uh, the justice system in Gauteng has been captured. So, um, but the, this was a whole scandal involving one of my fellow journalists, Sam Sol, uh, where it emerged that state security and police uh, were essentially being weaponized to spy on journalists during the Zuma administration. And, uh, and so when that blew up, uh, the, the uh, RICA Act landed in front of the Constitutional Court. And so this should not be, uh, it should not be possible for the police or for state security to spy on people without a, uh, a, a designated judge giving a court order to that effect. And then after they have uh, done the legal intercept against you, you are supposed to be, you are supposed to get a notification afterwards to tell you, hey, listen, you were the subject of a legal intercept order. Um, and so uh, if, the, if the legal, in, if the order has run its course and, and you were not arrested at the, at the end of that. So uh, the, the, uh, the, that's the current legal landscape for this kind of legal intercept. So uh, no, we as individuals don't get any special protections, but neither do politicians. They are supposed to uh, essentially fall under the same law as, as all of us. A, a, a designated judge is supposed to give a court order that your communications is allowed to be in. 
Let me just quickly uh, recap here. The grabber technology, you say that's from 2010. So have we moved forward now with technology? Is it, it, does it work in a similar way? Or are there other ways of doing it, like somebody perhaps putting a software onto your phone? Yeah, yeah. So, so there are new ways that, that have emerged uh, and, and some state actors will use that technology. So the, the thing about uh, an, an IMSI, an MC catcher, or even uh, getting a RICA direction from that designated judge I was describing and going to Vodacom, MTN, Celsi, Telcom or Rain, and saying, here, I have a court order to intercept the communications of this individual, and then the mobile operators are supposed to be able to help you with that. Um, the, 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 so the, the, those are the sort of two, uh, let's call them more above board ways of doing it, which is, mm -hmm. Um, or, which is, or the one above board way of doing it is, is using the mobile operators themselves. Then you have the, the grabber. That's already kind of frowned upon. Um, but then, as you say, you've got, you've got apps. But those apps are not using legitimate hooks into your smartphone or smartphone operating system to, to do the, the interception. They are exploiting uh, um, bugs in the, in the software. It's essentially a hack. They, so um, state security around the world uh, do do that. They hack into people's phones to, to do this kind of surveillance, but usually not against their own people. Mm -hmm. That kind of activity is usually reserved for uh, foreign operations, for, for spying, for, for state security and and, and that sort of thing. So when, when you are uh, doing this kind of thing against your own civilians, mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's very much frowned upon to be using those kinds of techniques. Jan Vermeulen, thank you so much for joining us here this evening. And he is tech expert and editor in chief of IT news website, My Broadband. I really appreciate the conversation. Absolutely fascinating.